Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts open to receive your word. As we reflect on today's readings, may your Holy Spirit guide us and help us to understand your will for our lives. Fill us with your wisdom, comfort, and peace. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Reading 1, Isaiah 38 verses 1 to 6, 21 to 22, 7 to 8. In those days Hezekiah became ill and was at the point of death. The prophet Isaiah son of Amoz went to him and said, This is what the Lord says, Put your house in order. Because you are going to die, you will not recover. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord, Remember, Lord, how I have walked before you faithfully and with wholehearted devotion and have done what is good in your eyes. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah, Go and tell Hezekiah, This is what the Lord, the God of your father David, says, I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will add fifteen years to your life, and I will deliver you and this city from the hand of the king of Assyria. I will defend this city. Isaiah had said, Prepare a poultice of figs and apply it to the boil, and he will recover. Hezekiah had asked, What will be the sign that I will go up to the temple of the Lord? This is the Lord's sign to you that the Lord will do what he has promised, I will make. The shadow cast by the sun go back the ten steps it has gone down on the stairway of Ahaz. So the sunlight went back the ten steps it had gone down. Responsorial Psalm, Isaiah 38 verses 10 and 11, 12, 16. I said, In the prime of my life must I go through the gates of death and be robbed of the rest of my years? I said, I will not again see the Lord himself in the land of the living. No longer will I look on my fellow man, or be with those who now dwell in this world. Like a shepherd's tent my house has been pulled down and taken from me. Like a weaver I have rolled up my life, and he has cut me off from the loom. Day and night you made an end of me. Lord, by such things people live, and my spirit finds life in them too. You restored me to health and let me live. Gospel, Matthew 12 verses 1 to 8. At that time Jesus went through the grain fields on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick some heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, Look, your disciples are doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath. He answered, Haven't you read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? He entered the house of God and he and his companions ate the consecrated bread, which was not lawful for them to do, but only for the priests. Or haven't you read in the law that the priests on Sabbath duty in the temple desecrate the Sabbath and yet are innocent? I tell you that something greater than the temple is here. If you had known what these words mean, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, you would not have condemned the innocent. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Prayer Gracious God, we come before you in gratitude for your endless mercy and compassion. As we reflect on the healing of Hezekiah, we are reminded of your power to restore and give life. Teach us to turn to you in our times of need, trusting in your promise to hear our prayers and see our tears. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of your word today. May it continue to inspire and guide us in our journey of faith. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen.